New at 5, Arizona's first responders have dealt with nearly 70,000 opioid overdoses in the past four years and nearly 10,000 deaths. More than a year ago, Tempe Police and Social Services teamed up for a unique program that's already saved dozens of lives, helping addicts find sobriety. Mm -hmm. Carissa Planalp is live, and I understand they're still looking at even bigger hurdles now, Carissa. Nicole and Jared, in the near future, you could see QR codes like this one posted all around the city of Tempe, linking you to resources to combat opioid abuse. Officials there also working on a campaign to shatter stigma, something recovery advocates say is the biggest challenge to getting people healthy. I think I turned a lot of what I heard about people who use drugs, I turned that against myself. Lisa Price says feelings of shame often kept her from embracing a brighter future. Lisa used opioids and other drugs until finally she had had enough. I got tired of the instability, just going through that every day and trying to pretend that everything was okay on the outside. I got tired of keeping up that facade. Today, Lisa works for Arizona Women's Recovery Center, providing supportive housing and services for those working to get clean. While the way we view addiction has changed over the years, Lisa says we're not there yet. I think there's so much more work that needs to be done. When someone's in crisis, they call 911. That is our true opportunity to make an impression. The city of Tempe is monitoring its innovative program, helping people into treatment, not into a jail cell. We want to save someone's life here. Sergeant Rob Ferraro helped develop the program, arming police with the overdose reversal medication Narcan. In the last 15 months, Tempe officers have saved nearly 120 lives using Narcan. What's unique about Tempe's approach is follow-up. Crisis specialists with nonprofit Impact have helped more than 100 overdose survivors with services to get sober. It's okay to reach out for help. For Lisa, getting clean led her to a place where she can make a difference, letting people know you can find your way without judgment. It's not a reflection of uh, you being a bad person. Inherently, you're worthy. And Arizona Women's Recovery Center has served the Valley for decades. I'm working on getting a link to their services on azfamily.com. Also a link to the resources in the city of Tempe. Reporting live, Carissa Planelp for Arizona's Family.